Well, thank you very much uh, for that question. The question is premised on an old colonial approach that a sovereign country which fought for its independence will be recolonized again by whoever. It's an insult to us. Because if we struggled against South Africa's might and fought and got independence, and that we're going to allow either China, as you people think, to come and recolonize us. You're wasting your time. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Any question? Please move on to the mic here. This only one is from Ilta Sanamat, English newspaper. Question to President King Gop. Mr. President, you have said that you don't support the decision of the International Criminal Court to arrest Russian President Vladimir Putin. Can you tell why is that and do you have a neutral position on a war in Ukraine like South Africa does? And a follow up to President Minister. Mr. President, you have talked about Russia's war here in Africa that have consequences also to Africa. Uh, have you gotten your message through here? Well, uh, when I was in South Africa, that issue was asked. It's not my problem. They were asking South African president about Putin, is he going to be arrested, and so on. I commented on the history when I was in Nairobi. Mrs. Clinton was the Secretary of State of America. And she was at time advocating that former Kenyatta, uh, President of Kenya, Kenyatta, Luto, to be sent to this IC. And what I ask her is why are you not a member of what is it? IC? ICC. You're not a member of it. Why? She said they cannot send their citizens to International Criminal Court because they have courts that can try. So I said, oh, but Africans must send theirs to that court. So they are assigned. And I said, well, as far as I'm concerned, if that court is only targeting African leaders, and most of the European countries, Western, they are not members of it. Was the court meant for Africans only? So we also, in Namibia, I said, have our independent institutions. Our courts are independent. And therefore, if anybody commits a crime here, they must be tried by our courts and not in another criminal court. That court uh, was set up according to Kofi Annan at the request of Africans, apparently. And I said, if Africans that time didn't have their own institutions that could try their own people, now we have it. Namibia has it. Our courts are independent. They wouldn't need to go to that. I don't need it. That's my point. You are not a member of it, you didn't sign, you are not part of it, or mostly Western countries, yet they want that to be used against Africans. That's our position. Doing our business, please. Uh, <clears throat> to be exact, uh, yes, we have a war in Europe after Russia attacked Ukraine. And uh, Ukraine is uh, fighting for its freedom. Uh, has it an impact uh, to Africa? Uh, what I have said that uh, the war in Ukraine seems to be a trigger for a wider scale of, uh, of uh, maybe division of uh, global 
opinions. So it's uh, actually a global uh, phenomenon, the trigger which uh, Ukraine uh, or war in Ukraine has uh, opened. It's a global question. And I have added to that, and uh, I'm sure <coughs> uh, President uh, Kengov is uh, of the same opinion that we might have a very interesting United Nations meeting in September this year. There will be a lot of discussion and uh, hopefully uh, open discussion and, uh, like we hoped, uh, discussion and diplomacy. One more last question, one more last question. Madam, you have you, good afternoon. My name is Tuwili Kakawika. I'm from my name is Tuwili Kakawika from the Namibia Review. My question is to I don't hear you. No. If my, you my take question, a bit closer. My question is for President Nidisto. I just wanted to know what why was it so important for you to return the artifacts to Namibia? Will you repeat a bit louder? Why was it so important for you, for Finland, to return the artifacts to Namibia? The artifacts that you just returned to Namibia, from a socio-cultural perspective, artifacts. Yeah, okay, yes. The question is, why is so important that you return the artifacts? Yes. Okay, fine. Well, if you take something, you should return it. <laughs> Is it it so? And uh, sometimes it uh, takes a bit time. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, originally the uh, idea when uh, Missioner uh, Marty took those uh, stones was not bad. Maybe it was just to bring same kind of, uh, of um, let's say, holy feeling at the end to Finland. But it is very obvious that uh, uh, they belong to here. And I think uh, as a whole, this uh, story more than 100 years old reflects very well our relations at the end. Mm -hmm. Everything goes well at the end. Thank you. I will just conclude by saying that we have received as a government the stone here now <laughs> during the ceremony. But since it came from Ndonga uh, Kingdom, the king is here. I just consulted that we are having it now in custody, but there will be a bigger ceremony at home. So we are going to take it there. There will be so that more people can be there to witness what has been taken from Leah. Yeah. <laughs> it's now being returned by our good friends. And to give the example to all those who stole things from Africa. <laughs> <to return. laughs> That's a good example we are getting here. So thank you very much.